How's it going everyone? My name is Lelloblade. Welcome to the tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a semi-automatic bamboo farm. Before we get into it, remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and leave a like as I would really appreciate it. Alright, so this is the design for the semi-automatic bamboo farm. This is a completely lossless farm. It is semi-automatic, which means your harvesting mechanism, totally automized. All you have to do is head on in and pick up your drops. So a quick little overview of the mechanism. What you will simply do is step on this pressure plate that will trigger a redstone signal firing all of these pistons you see lined on each side. These pistons will shoot forward and will knock off any bamboo above the initial first plant here, which means once that's done, your initial first plant will stay and grow back for your next harvest. So let's go ahead and have a little bit of a look at the redstone. As you can see, it is very, very simple. It is simply redstone dust, repeaters, pistons, very simple materials we're working with here. You just have simple wiring going to each of the two sides. And yeah, let's go ahead and see this mechanism in action. So again, what we're going to do is simply when our stuff is ready, which it's not totally ready, but we'll just say it is, for example, we're going to simply step on the pressure plate, continue to walk forward. The pistons will shoot out, go back in. All of the drops, again, above this initial plant will fall off. You'll walk in, collect your drops, walk back out, wait for them to grow back, and rinse and repeat. Now with the quick overview done, let's go ahead and get into the materials you're going to need to build this farm. So, as you can see, you're going to need roughly a stack and a half of any block of your choice. This block is basically going to make up the shell of the farm. Everything that's not the farm and the redstone components will be your block of choice. Here I have iron blocks. 16 pistons, 36 redstone dust, a pressure plate of your choice, does not have to be oak, 17 redstone repeaters, 16 dirt or grass blocks, whatever you like, it does not make a difference. I prefer grass blocks just because they look better, but if you're in survival, you might not have grass blocks. Dirt will do just fine. 16 bamboo and three light blocks of your choice. So here I have glowstone. Your options are glowstone, jack-o'-lanterns, sea lanterns, or shroom lights. Whichever of those four light blocks you want to use, you just need three of them. And with that being said, let's get into building this thing. All right, so once you've got yourself a nice open space where you can go ahead and start building, what you're first going to do is choose what you want the front and center block of your farm to be. So I'm going to choose this one. Once you've done that, you're going to go diagonal and forward in each direction and break the blocks there. So here, diagonal and forward here, as you can see. Next, you're going to go ahead and hop in one of these two holes. This will count as number one. You're going to dig two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you want a nice little trench here that is eight blocks long. And we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side here. So again, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You should have a nice little trench design that looks like this. All right, next you're going to take your grass block or dirt. Again, it does not matter whichever one you prefer. And simply fill in both of these trenches with whichever one you choose. Like so. So the next thing you're going to do is actually come back to this front center block we identified at the start. We're going to dig it out and again make a little bit of a trench in between our last two trenches like so. So it should extend one block further on each end like so. And now on that trench that we just dug, we're going to go ahead and actually dig each block down one further. So now it's going to be a two block deep trench. All right, so now you're going to take your redstone dust and in this trench that we just dug, we're going to simply place a line of redstone dust on the floor all the way up until this last block where we are going to place a repeater facing this direction. All right, and sticking on this end here with the repeater, we are actually going to extend the trench one more block, digging down two. Once again, we're going to place a redstone dust right there on the floor. And then on this side and on this side, we're going to dig it up only one deep here and also place redstone dust like so. And then what we're going to do to finish this off is connecting this line up to the surface. We're going to go one, two, three out in this direction and then the same on the other side one two three so you should have a nice redstone line that is completely connected like so all right now what we're going to go ahead and do is actually just put a little bit of a lid with your block of choice over this redstone line we just created in the middle trench extending it up to this block only up to this block 
like so. Now what we're gonna do is again with our block of choice, we're gonna go to the block back from each of our grass or dirt patches here. We're gonna place it right here like so. So we're just gonna make a line of the block of your choice, one vertical layer higher than the grass, like so on each side. So we're gonna go over to the other side now and do the exact same thing, like so. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is from these lines of blocks that we just placed, we are actually going to place a row of pistons right on top of them with the wood part or the front of the piston facing towards the center of our farm on both sides again. So like so, you should just have two lines of pistons on top of these lines of blocks that we just placed like so. Now we're gonna come around to the back of one of these lines here, whichever one you wanna do first. You're gonna simply, with your block of choice, create two rows back down on this first layer behind our first row of blocks like so, very simply like this. And then we're gonna go around to the other side here and do the exact same thing two rows of blocks on the first layer, like so. So now you're gonna take your redstone repeater and from this back view here on again, whichever side you wanna start on, you're going to simply place a repeater facing into the back of each of these pistons. So one facing into the back of each piston, like so. And then again on the other side, we're going to simply start here and place a repeater facing into the back of each piston. Your redstone work should look like this right now. Now to actually finish off the redstone work, we're going to simply place a line of redstone dust behind each of these repeaters that we placed on both sides and one piece of dust right here to connect up this line to our earlier work. So again, we're gonna go around to the other side here, make a nice line of redstone dust behind each repeater and then connect it up to this line here like so. This is your completed redstone work. All right, so coming around to the front of the farm here, remember that we filled in this gap that we had dug that now has redstone under it. There's this one block that is sticking out a bit. We are going to simply place our pressure plate right on it, and now we can go ahead and actually test out the mechanism. So let's see, when we stand on it, that is exactly what is supposed to happen. We stand on it, the pistons shoot out on each side. Once we're off it for about a second, the pistons retract. That is exactly what we want. Your farm should be doing the exact same thing right now. If it's not, you did a step wrong, go back, check, make sure you got everything right, make sure that your mechanism is working like so. All right, so the last stage of this build is actually creating our final shell to kind of make it look better, make sure it's lossless, and make sure that we have good lighting. So we're gonna start off by going around to the back here, and right here on this line, before this redstone here, we're going to place a line of three blocks this is all block of your choice. Then what we're gonna do is bring it up two on each side and then connect it here at the top, creating a three by three ring, like so. And from that, you're going to take one of your light blocks again. Choices are glowstone, sea lanterns, jack-o'-lanterns, or shroom lights. I have glowstone here and place it in that middle block like so. All right, so now what we're gonna do is create a little bit of a roof here. So what we're gonna do is head on up here, place a block here, then one out here over the farm. We can go ahead and delete that block like so. So we have one block here, one more. Then we're gonna take our glowstone, place it here. Back to block of choice, one, two. Glowstone, their pistons just fired out because I stood on the pressure plate there. And then finish it off with block of choice going to the end of the farm here. All of this was done in the middle row of your roof here. Now coming back under, we can simply finish off the roof, just all block of choice from there, simply creating a nice little overhang like so. There we go. All right, so our next step is to probably what you would expect, go up here to these pistons and simply place a line of block of your choice on top of the pistons, kind of sealing off this roof now, making it an encapsulated space in there, like so. All right, so these last few steps are technically not necessary for the farm to be lossless, but I think they're pretty necessary for looks. If you want your farm to look decent, so what we're gonna do first is go around to the back here and build up one, two, three with your block of choice, kind of making it into a more solid wall in the back, hiding the pistons a little better. Come around to the other side again, one, two, three. So now your back of your farm should look like this. Then we're gonna head over to our front of the farm here we're gonna build up one, two, three, four. We're gonna bring it across one, two, three, four, and then build up one, two, three, finishing with that four, like so. 
Now what we're going to do is go on this side here and build up one, two, three, then down one more, one, two, like so. As you can see, your side of your farm, this kind of hides all of the redstone work from the front of your farm. Then coming around to the other side, we're going to do the exact same thing, build up one, two, three, one more over, one, two, like so. And this last little bit is something that I just like aesthetically, is if we just simply replace each of these two blocks here with your block of choice, I think it looks a lot more nice, more unified. Now the absolute last step here is to simply take your bamboo, and as you would expect, plant it along each of your dirt or grass blocks. Like so. Bamboo grows really quickly, so you can expect to be able to harvest within like 10 minutes. And with that, you have completed the semi-automatic bamboo farm. As you can see, one sprout just grew there actually. You can take a nice little overview of the whole farm. Looks very compact. It's a little bit messy from the sides and back, but from the front, we have done some nice work to clean it up, make it completely lossless, make sure our lighting is good, and yeah. With that being said, you have reached the end of the tutorial. I hope this video is helpful, as that is always the number one goal. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Drop a comment if you have any questions, concerns, or need any clarification on anything shown in this video. If this video helped you, slap a like on it because it really helps me out a bunch. Check out my second channel, Lil Blade Extras, for even more Minecraft content. I've been Lil Blade, and until next time, peace. Through the wasteland, through the highway.